Welcome back to Extraordinary Everything. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a unique deep sea species that has the fastest fish jaws in the ocean and is considered to be a living fossil. This species is known as the goblin shark, and like many other deep sea creatures, it looks like it's from another world. The shark is obviously not from another world, but it did evolve roughly 125 million years ago, at a time when the earth looked nothing like it does today. They're the only known extant species of their family, and other members are known through fossil records. Having evolved during the Cretaceous period means that these sharks were living at a time when dinosaurs ruled the world. Sharks do live in water, so they didn't have to survive the reign of dinosaurs, but there's no doubt that they shared the ocean with prehistoric sea creatures and even survived a mass extinction event. Goblin sharks are typically measured between 3 and 4 meters, or 10 and 13 feet. However, in the year 2000, a female goblin shark was caught and measured roughly 6 meters or 20 feet. This capture showed that these creatures could become quite a bit larger than was originally suspected. A recent study from 2019 suggested a maximum length of 7 meters or 23 feet. The maximum weight ever recorded was 460 pounds or 210 kilograms for a shark that was 3.8 meters or 12.5 feet in length. They have been caught around the edges of continents, in the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans, although most have been seen and captured in Japan and New Zealand. Despite being caught in many different areas, this shark remains a very rare species, which is quite surprising based on their range of habitat. They are usually found near the sea floor at depths of 270 to 1300 meters. Juveniles prefer depths of 100 to 350 meters and frequent the submarine canyons off the coast of Japan. At a depth of 600 meters, the amount of sunlight that penetrates the ocean on a clear sunny day is about the same intensity of starlight on a clear night. Scientists believe that the goblin sharks spend most of their lives in darkness and will only come near the surface at night. Like many other sea creatures, the reason for coming closer to the surface during the night is to find food as there is much more life closer to the surface of the water. Their skin is usually pink or even red from blood vessels showing through the skin. There are very few observations of goblin sharks in the wild, although the anatomy can help hypothesize behavior. They have a poorly calcified skeleton, weakly developed side muscles, small, soft fins, and flabby bodies which suggests that they are most likely inactive and sluggish in nature. They have bad eyesight, but they differ from other deep sea sharks as they're able to change the size of their pupils, indicating that they probably use vision in some situations. The most intriguing characteristic about these sharks is how they feed. They have a long and flat snout that proportionally decreases in length as they get older. The snout has sensory function in the form of ampullae of Lorenzini. These are electroreceptor organs that are able to detect electric fields produced by other animals. The electric fields sensed by the sharks let them know that there may be prey within close range. Since these sharks spend most of their lives in the darkness, their snout is highly beneficial for being able to sense prey. When they are in close enough range, the shark's jaw snaps forward in an attempt to grab the prey in front of them. They have the fastest fish jaws in the ocean, moving at 10 feet per second. When the shark bites, it releases the tension of two elastic ligaments that are connected to the mandible joints. The release of the tension causes the jaws to catapult forward. What's even more interesting is while the jaw is protruding, it is actually in its relaxed position. The tension is caused by keeping the jaw in a retracted position. Since these sharks essentially live in the dark, they don't have good eyesight, they're sluggish and relatively slow swimmers, it seems as though their nose and jaw evolved perfectly for them to be ambush predators. All they really have to do is wait for fish to swim by. Their upper jaw has between 35 and 53 rows of teeth, while their lower jaw has between 31 and 62 rows of teeth. The teeth at the front of the jaw are narrow and long. The teeth located closer to the corners of the jaw are small and flat for crushing. Researchers have been able to identify the prey of these sharks by examining the stomach contents of some that have been caught. Their diet usually includes teleost fish, cephalopods, crustaceans, and ostracods. They have been known to eat bottom dwellers such as black belly rosefish, and unfortunately some garbage as well. Without much observation, it is difficult to know for sure, but it is believed that the only predators of the goblin shark are other sharks and parasites, such as tapeworms. In 1993, a male goblin shark was examined and was found to have four different species of tapeworm, and two of them were new and unclassified. Not much is known about their reproductive cycle as they have not been observed enough 
although researchers believe that they probably have the same characteristics as mackerel sharks. The goblin shark was first discovered in Japan in 1898. The scientific name of the shark is Mitsukurina ostoni. It comes from the name of the naturalist who first found the shark and the name of the scientist who first examined the shark. The name goblin shark is a literal translation of its name in Japanese. Tengu is the name of a mythical goblin in Japanese folklore. It is half man, half bird, and has a very long nose and pink skin. The conservation status of the goblin shark is currently listed as a least concern, as it is rarely encountered. While this may be one of the most hideous sharks on earth, hopefully it can stay true to its nickname and remain a living fossil. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.